Now let's take a moment to discuss what is this course about and more importantly what it is not about. In this course we are learning about how AI is applied in robots. There are lots of illustrative examples. Besides the teaching material, the main contribution are pointers to open source code that you can run yourself if you have this vector and pointers to a lot of teaching material. This course assumes that you have at least middle school or average high school grade science and math concepts. You do not need to own a robot such as the vector to learn from this material. Hopefully the open source examples and the reading material uh, exam pointers are uh, great references for you to learn. More importantly, we need to make sure to understand what this course is not about. This is not a programming course. So while the open source links include examples of Python code, it assumes that uh, the readers are familiar with Python programming and it doesn't teach Python programming per se in this course. We do not require you to buy a robot. So the examples can be visualized and, um, and uh, rerun using the Anki vector robot, but you will learn a ton from this course even if you are unable to buy this robot. It does not go into technical details about specific AI algorithms and implementations because the aim of the course is to cover more breadth in terms of AI technologies rather than depth of a specific algorithm or a specific technique. But there's always a ton of reading material that is provided. So if you want to go deep into a specific topic, you will find valuable references that you can pursue yourself and learn about. So let's start the course. Good luck. Since this is an online course, I'd recommend you a few things. First of all, each video can be definitely revised multiple times. So while you get some of the concepts in the first reading, you definitely want to revise it a second and a third time so that you grasp the concepts further. Also, look out for all the code references and the extra reading materials posted in each chapter because these will be valuable resources. Most of the code is open source and these open source code are typically written by seasoned programmers and they will give you very good insight into how the examples are built and how these things work in practice. So let's move on with the next chapter.